allegedly abducted by Trinidad and Tobago police while on his way to Miami for medical treatment. Firearms charges and court matters later, one attorney at law describes the Brent Thomas matter as a blessing. But those who are held, who ought to be held responsible, must be held responsible because this is an abrogation of all that we know that is right and proper according to the rule of law. So in a way, what has happened to Mr. Thomas, as awful as it is, is a blessing so that we could really take, take stock, not just internally, but have external eyes look upon what is happening here in terms of the disrespect for law and order, not just some criminals. Mr. Ramada also weighed in on the statement by the National Security Minister, suggesting that criminals have friends in the judiciary. What he has said may be true, but when it comes to a Minister of National Security, there's great gravity that attends to it. When it comes from office holders of the highest level, it carries great gravity and has the effect, whether intentional or otherwise, to undermine the confidence in our judiciary. Mr. Ramada holds the view that some clarification of the statement is warranted. I think he needs to explain exactly what he meant. Let the country understand that he may have said so without appreciating the, the gravity of what he has said. But I am firmly of the view that whatever he would have intended, the consequence has been released. And therefore, that is so. There must be a reestablishment of respect to the court and an apology, yes. But not just that. You see, I don't believe in words today and then actions tomorrow. Nicole M. Romani, TV6 News.